trying some of this local coffee out this morning. Mike Shia, it's very good. We'll find out, Mike Shia. Mike Shia's Coffee House Traditional Special House Blend, roasted in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Today's coffee, local here in Mass. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. It's getting colder, it's in the 40s. <sighs> Glad I got my onesie on, my coveralls. Overalls? I don't know. I like to let my coffee boil for a second, the old cowboy coffee style. But, I use a combo way to save energy. Here, let's see. First I get her boiling with the electric boiler to save propane. Then once she's boiling, I pour that boiling water in here. And then I let it boil once with the coffee grinds in with the water. Just let it boil over for a second, turn it off, let it sit for a few minutes. It's perfect coffee with low acidity. They're starting to boil, turn her off. Perfect. I just let it sit for probably like five minutes. Instead of using the propane to boil the water for, you know, maybe five, six minutes, the propane was only on for about 30 seconds. It just saves propane over time. We just stopped at Alexander Dawson Conservation Area. It's only about seven minutes down the road from the gym. I always like to stop somewhere and let Annie use the bathroom before we head in. Usually we stop at a park or something like that. This time it happened to be a conservation area. Beautiful little stop though. We got the Connecticut River right here. We've driven along the Connecticut River several times while we've been out in New England and it's pretty beautiful, so. Yeah, nice little stop. Hurry up, Banners! Gotta work out. Come on! What are you doing? Good girl. <laughs> All right, time to work out. Solid workout. Man, I always feel better after a workout. This trash roux has became the laundry bag, the dirty clothes bag. And this net that used to be down in the cargo area now ends up holding the trash, further increasing Jade's gear carrying capacity. <laughs> but it works pretty well. Did you miss me when I was gone, huh? Did you miss me? You're a good girl, yeah. You can see we're parked right out front and we can see Jade through the windows. Kind of the whole strategy behind it is being able to see Jade wherever she's parked. So, coffee shops, things like that. As long as we can see Jade through the window, I feel pretty comfortable leaving her. Just finishing up some editing here in the park. Using the Kodiak again, running out to the picnic table, charging the laptops. Editing in a park. I don't really like to hang out in coffee shops too much anymore with Anners. I like her to be able to hang out too. So. so we usually end up going to parks and she can hang out with us. Usually don't have to throw on a leash either, depending on where we're at. We got the river right here at least. Tons of squirrels, Annie's chasing them all. In the past, I always edited right away in the morning and even though we got up at 5 a.m. this morning and pretty much made a small breakfast, packed up and left, it's already four in the afternoon and just finishing up now. So. It's just kind of the reality of it. Might take me a little bit to get in the swing of things or some days it might just be like this. So we got to figure out where we want to camp tonight and kind of our next stop in Massachusetts. We got about five, six days till the Jamboree this weekend. Until then, got to get into some adventures. I'm putting my overalls back on. It's cooling down pretty quickly here. Gonna be one of the colder drives. It's been six months with no doors, no soft top, no nothing. We lost the soft doors and soft top July 4th. I didn't feel like buying a whole new set. It's about a thousand bucks for the whole set. Doors, soft top. So I figured just wear these instead. Rain gear if it rains and cold gear for when it's cold. And regular tire for when it's wriggler out. Layers, it's all about layers. Just to make sure. Oh yeah, that fits great. 
We were setting up camp in the dark this morning. We still had moisture on the sleeping bag, so instead of rolling them up, putting them in a dry bag where they're not gonna air out, since it wasn't supposed to rain today, we sometimes will leave them on the roof to air out and dry out while we're driving. Kind of necessary so that we're not storing them damp. It's like a wet towel. Stumbled upon a hidden gem out here. There's no signs about no camping, and it looks like it turns into state forest soon here. And so far, there's so many side trails like this one right here. There's multiple that we passed. I think we're gonna have to explore this place tomorrow. Man, and we got we got a beautiful stream right here going underneath this bridge. Looks like there's an old railroad right here as well. So we're definitely gonna have to go explore out there. And we got this beautiful stream here, setting up camp, we found a level spot. Check it out, man. You never know what you're gonna find on the road. A lot of times, come up dry this time. I don't know, I got high hopes. And I think tomorrow we're definitely gonna have to explore this place. That's all Ben, Ben found this place. Good work, man. Piece of cake. Got lucky. Google satellite view. Google satellite view, there you go. Ribeye is what's for dinner. Love listening to the stream right next to us. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. By the look on Ben's face, the steak is great. Perfect. Medium rare. You throw these metal dishes over the steak while they cook. The oven-like effect cooks the insides a lot better. Using a open top grill that works pretty well. All right, time to eat enough dog. Jason just recently became a new Patreon pledge. Just want to say thank you, Jason, for helping us out, helping to keep us on the road. Really appreciate it. As always, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> that was a close one. Just barely cleared it. And uh, could be at least eight feet. But we're sitting pretty close, especially with all the gear on top. We just used Google Maps. Ben found this road. And so far, it looks pretty good. Dirt road, looks like we can probably camp out here.